Hey what's going on guys welcome to your 24th Django tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to protect pages that require login. Okay then so our application is now starting to take pretty good shape. We can now sign up to the application, log in and log out. Now the whole idea of authentication is so a user can sign in and then view pages that a person who's not signed in couldn't right we're authenticating the user so they can do additional things so say for example a user can add articles to this list now we only want users who are logged in and authenticated to be able to view that page where a user can add an article so i guess you could say that login is required for that page right we don't want normal users to go okay i want to add an article and view that um, form to add a new article we need them to be logged in to do that. We need to authenticate them and require their login. So how can we do that? How can we protect certain pages to require login before a user sees them? Pretty simply. So what we'll do in this tutorial is create a template for a user to add a new article. Then we'll protect that page. We'll say, if you want to view this page, you need to be logged in, right? So. First of all, let's create inside the articles over here, a URL to create a new article. So we need to do this above this one right here, the slug one, because if we add this, for example, URL, and then raw string carrot, and then create or something like that, say that's the, the URL create. And if we add that below this URL and we type in Okay, so go to articles forward slash create, then it's going to look at this one first of all and think that that create after articles is actually the slug. And it's going to try and find an article with that slug and show us the article detail page, right? So we don't want to do that. We want to put this URL before the slug one so it reaches this first of all and fires this URL when we type in create. Make sense? Okay, cool. So forward slash after that and then dollar sign and then outside of this the second parameter is going to be the view function that we want to fire so views and then we'll call this article underscore create we've not created that yet we'll do it in a second the name of this url is going to be create okay cool so now we've created that url we can create the view now so let's close this off we'll close these as well and open up our views inside the articles app and underneath here we'll create a new function now and this is going to be called article create so def article underscore create it takes the request object first of all and inside we just want to return a render of a template the creation template so we'll return a render and inside the request object is always first then the template now that's going to be inside the articles folder forward slash and we'll call this article underscore underscore create dot html all right so when we go to forward slash articles forward slash create this function will fire and return this template to us so we need to go inside the articles folder first of all inside templates and then create an article create template so new file article underscore create dot html cool so what is this template going to look like well eventually it's going to be a form so a user can add their own title their own slug upload uh, upload their own image and add their own body content but for now for the sake of this tutorial i just want to create a very very simple template just a h2 something like that so first of all inside here we're going to extend from the base layout so we need our template tags first of all and then we say extends and then in single quotes base underscore layout dot html then we need the block down here so template tags again and block is going to be called content and we need to end the block as well End block cool now the content like i said keep it very simple to begin with a div and i'll give this a class of create hyphen article we'll use that to style it up later on 
and then a h2 inside this which will say create an awesome new article all right cool so if we go to forward slash create now this function should fire and return that template let's try it forward slash create enter and we get create an awesome new article now even though i'm logged out right now i can still go to this create page which eventually will have a create form on it now i don't want that i want to protect this page so that only people that are logged in can view it and if we're not logged in then we'll redirect them to the login page or something like that how do we do that dead simply all we need to do is add a decorator to the top of this function and a decorator basically just extends the function it adds additional functionality to it but first of all we need to import that decorator so we'll do that at the top we'll say from django.contrib.auth.decorators import and it's called login underscore required and by the way, if you want to learn more about decorators, I go over them in quite a lot of depth in my Python 3 for Beginners course. So feel free to check that out. The link is going to be down below. So now we've imported that, we can use the decorator on top of this function. And the way we use a decorator is by using an at symbol, first of all, then the name of the decorator, login underscore required, parenthesis at the end. Now this is protecting this view, right? So if a user is not logged in when this view function is fired, then it's going to say, hey, actually, you need to be logged in for this to work. Now, what I said was, if you're not logged in and we try to access this, I want to redirect them to the login page to say you need to be logged in, basically. So we can supply that in here. We can say what the login underscore URL is. So Django is going to say, hey, this requires login. The login URL is here. I'm going to supply it to you. So please redirect this user if they're not logged in to that URL so that they can log in. So the login URL is going to be forward slash accounts, forward slash login, forward slash. So they're going to redirect us to there if we're not logged in. So fingers crossed and hope this works. Let's go back, refresh over here. Now I'm going to make sure I'm logged out to begin with. Then I'll try to go to create. And because I'm not logged in, it's not letting me see that page. It's redirecting me instead to the login page, which is awesome. Now, there's one problem with this. If I then go to log in, it's redirecting me back to the article listing page. Really, if I'm redirected from the create page to the login page, after I've logged in, I'd like it to redirect to the create page again. Now, it's not just as simple as saying, well, OK, if that's the functionality you want, go to your accounts views over here. And instead of redirecting them to article listings right here and right here, redirect them to the create URL. Well, it's not that simple because what if I just go directly to forward slash accounts forward slash login without trying to add a new article? It makes no sense that if I then log in, it redirects me to the create article screen because I'm not trying to access that in the first place. So we need a way for Django to recognize where we've come from when we've tried to add a new article. And then when we log in, redirect us to that page where we originally came from. And there is a way we can do this, which I'm going to show you in the very next tutorial.